So it appears that Europe is going into uh, another lockdown, or at least parts of Europe, um, as they're facing this third wave of COVID, um, leading to newly imposed lockdowns. And I think we have a video kind of showing some of the resistance to that. Yeah, Alice, I mean, it's looking like Groundhog Day in a lot of Europe. And, you know, right now I'm actually in Tel Aviv, so I'm not there now. But as you know, I was reporting from Europe for most of the crisis from Paris and Rome. Now, what we're seeing there is over the past weekend, new lockdowns, new regulations in Poland, Ukraine and France. Now, in Ukraine, it's mostly in the Kiev area around the capital. In France, mostly in the north of the country, particularly around Paris. And in Poland, there are new restrictions throughout the country. What we're starting to see is this third wave, and it's really the impact of the really uh, the slow rollout of that vaccine effort. It's been a scandal throughout the continent. So many people are complaining about the fact that Britain has really succeeded so far in vaccinating huge parts of its population. While in Europe, everything is lagging, even as new variants, specifically that British variant and others, are really running to the front line and taking over all of the other variants of the virus and spreading quite a bit quicker. And they're lagging behind with the vaccine. And these new regulations are inciting anger among the population. We've seen police deploying tear gas in places like Amsterdam, even in London and elsewhere in Germany. Now, Germany is a different case. Germany is also saying that because of a recent rise in new cases, that they may, and this is Angela Merkel talking, the chancellor of Germany, they may have to tighten some restrictions. They sound as though they're going to be extending into April some of the current restrictions. All of this is a really bad sign, especially since, Allison, it really doesn't look like people are going to be abiding by this. The level of anger on the streets, the fact that a lot of these restrictions seem rather sort of ad hoc. They don't necessarily seem to be targeting all businesses the same. This is causing a lot of anger, and that's going to persist until that vaccine effort can get rolling, which brings me to why I am where I am right now. Tel Aviv is a glimpse of the future. This is one of the most successful vaccine rollouts in the world, and it's showing up in the numbers of new cases. And it really is back to normal here. A lot of people are walking around. I'm actually isolating right now in an Airbnb over downtown Tel Aviv. But the fact is, is that once this vaccine rollout gets going, things can get back to normal. That's exactly what's happening here. And that's exactly why the lack of a vaccine and that new surge in cases is such a scandal throughout Europe. Hey, NBC. Yeah, people aren't too happy about um, these lengthening restrictions. And while they're not impacting all countries, they are impacting um, a significant number in the EU. I mean, France in particular has reported 30,000 new cases per day recently. I um, mean, Germany is already talking about extending its lockdown longer um, because their kind of parameters for what they consider pulling the emergency break is basically 100 of every 100,000 people um, testing positive for coronavirus, but there's been a lot of criticism of the EU in regards to the vaccine rollout because the US and the UK were much quicker to order um, vaccines and then get the programs rolled out, um, which is, I mean, if you think about how poorly the US program was rolled out, that's, that's pretty alarming. So there's been a significant amount of criticism over that and people are just um, really not happy about, you know, the impending extensions of lockdowns and restrictions. We have family in Israel, and what we're being told by our family in Israel is just what that report said. It is life as normal there. Over 50% of the population has been vaccinated, and they are rolling it out as fast as they can. On the flip side, uh, Israel's treatment of Palestinians, in particular yeah. on the West Bank and in the Gaza Strip, um, is reprehensible, is the word that yeah. comes to mind. And I say that as a Jew. Yes, it is. Absolutely.